Welcome to this Year 8 Options video for Creative Media. As this is a subject not studied at Key Stage 3, it will be new to all of you, so I'll be going through the course and what you can expect if you choose to study this option. But first, let's look at why you would study Creative Media. As you can see, the creative industries cover 1 in 11 jobs in the UK, and with more and more digital platforms releasing content, this is only going to increase. In fact, the creative industries has five times faster amount of growth year on year than other sectors. The sorts of jobs that are included within these creative sectors and that you could go on to do through studying media come from a variety of industries, including film and television, advertising, video games and digital content. But it is not just the variety of jobs that is increasing. More and more new higher education degrees are being offered, such as this range from Norwich University of the Arts. You could go on to study things like animation and visual effects, film and moving image production, games development or user experience design. All this shows just how much the creative media is part of a growing sector. The course we offer is an OCR Cambridge National comprising of four units. The first unit is an exam unit on pre-production, which is a one hour, 15 minute written paper. And the other three units are coursework based. The first one is digital graphics, where students have the opportunity to learn how these are made and then make one responding to a brief. The second unit is a digital video unit in which students are taught how to use cameras, lighting equipment, and editing software and go on to make their own digital video sequence. And the final unit is a games design unit where students learn all about gameplay and then come up with a proposal for a client outlining their game idea. All units including the exam use industry based scenarios where you as a student have to respond to a client. Here you would research and plan your product before then carrying out the production and then finally reviewing the final piece. This also gives students an opportunity to learn a variety of new software including Adobe Photoshop and DaVinci Resolve. So that's the course but let's just have a look at some of the main elements which might then help you decide if this is the right one for you. Firstly this course is still heavily weighted towards coursework as mentioned before three out of the four units are this coursework piece. So there is still a lot of writing for these units but it is much more focused on both the skills and knowledge. With that in mind there is a good balance of technical and creative. You will learn to use a variety of software as previously mentioned and hardware such as digital cameras. But you will also need to think creatively to respond to clients, reiterating designs and refining ideas. The course is fully digital, so all work is set and completed through Google Classroom or using specialist software. A question I get asked quite a lot is, do you need to have any skills or previous media experience? And the answer is no, but what we do ask is that you do have an interest and a passion for media, whether that's wanting to make your own films or games, or even an interest in digital design. So that's the course. If you have any further questions about it, please feel free to contact me via my school email. Thank you.